Hi guys, Andy here again from Mad Lad Designs with another in the print and play series. And this time we'll be looking at a tabletop version of the 1978 arcade game Space Invaders. So, what are the components? Well, we have the instructions here. We have 54 cards split into four separate things. We have 35 alien cards. We have nine bonus cards. We have seven countdown cards and three shield cards. And of course, I'll explain all these as we play the game. We also have our player mat. We also need, is that the ice cream van? <laughs> we'll also need two movement tokens. These will be placed here. And then we also need nine dice. We'll start by rolling six, but various bonuses can add more as we play. So, print and play files. Then you'll also need two movement tokens and nine dice. So, that is all the components for 8-Bit Invaders by William Retert, Retert, <laughs> I'm sorry if I can't pronounce your second name, it's R-E-T-E-R-T. -E um, and as usual, I will put a link to the print and play files, as well as a link to the main page on Board Game Geek. Right, so let's set up the game ready to play, and it's a big setup. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> the first thing you do is you shuffle all those 35 aliens uh, and then you build a grid of 7 by 5. So as you can see, it's quite a big footprint. So these are your alien invaders, but there's more to set up. We have shields to put out and when we start we put them under the second row, fourth row, and sixth row. So that's our shields. So next we need to set up our little play area. So we'll take our two movement tokens and place them on the double zero there and the zero there. Next up we take our... I, am, I, am, I thought I printed the backs. These are our bonus cards. We need to make sure these are shuffled and mixed. And I'm sorry I keep knocking the camera. <laughs> and these go on there, our draw pile. Then we take our countdown cards and place them in order like this. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. These don't need to be shuffled. And these, like this, are placed here. And we are ready to go. We have our player mat set up. We also have our alien invasion fleet and our shield set up. So as you can see, this takes up a fair bit of space <laughs> to play space invaders. Okay, so let's continue and begin the game. So the idea of the game is to destroy all the aliens that's out on the board before they destroy you or your countdown finishes and ends up at zero. So how do you kill aliens? Well, you roll a six, well, you roll six, six sided die. <laughs> um, and you'll notice that there's numbers along the bottom of each alien and you're trying to match the die with those numbers. So in order to kill this alien, I need to have a five or a six in the die that I've rolled in this one, any two dice I can use to add up to five. I could even use one dice if I rolled a five and that would kill that alien. Again, I'd need a two or a five. Is that a five? Yes, for to kill this alien. And this one with the question marks, I need to roll a double. Two threes, two fives, two sixes. So the squares are what you need to kill the aliens. So, at the start of the round, what you can do is you can discard a shield to get a bonus card. 
and the bonus card could do things like add an extra die or allowing you to change your die to another phase or even stop you dying from enemy fire and um, so yeah that's the first thing you can do you can discard a shield to grab a bonus card but I'm not going to do that I want to get rid of these aliens so I'm going to start attacking some aliens the only aliens you can attack are the ones in the bottom of the columns okay so right at the beginning I can only attack aliens in this column as aliens disappear then you'll be able to say if that one went then you'll be able to attack that one it's always the bottom of the columns also you cannot attack columns that have shields so my only options here are to attack this one this one this one or this one right so which ones shall I attack well, let's roll my die and see which ones I can. Okay, I don't think you can, I don't think you can see that. Let me try and zoom in a bit more. Here we go. So we have That was a 3. So that's what we have two ones two two threes and a five right so which ones can we attack well i think we can attack this one because we can make 14 out of these die five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen um we have two threes so we can defeat this one uh, we don't have a six so we can't go for this one and remember we cannot go for the ones with the shields so i can't go for this row this row or that row and um, we can make seven as well a five and a two so i want to try and kill as many aliens as possible so i am going to use the five and the two five and the two on my extremely tiny dice <laughs> five and two to make seven and what you do then is you take your die and you place them on the card once you've placed die on a card you can then actually start going horizontal and vertically so now even though there's a shield here because I've not started in this row I've started in this row I can go across and try and get this one as well I can also try and get that one up there if I wanted to with a two and a three but I don't have another two so I will go for this one as well two question marks means a double I have two threes um, and looking at this one as well it says I need a two well I've got two ones and I can whatever dice I need to use to make two I can use these ones so I'm going to use them ones so that's my attack okay so once you've laid all your dice you don't have to put all your dice down but in this case I have then these aliens are considered killed and taken off the board so that's one that's another one and that's one and any aliens killed are placed in the dead aliens section here so we have three aliens killed and I'll put them face up next if the amount of aliens killed is equal to the current countdown or higher then these aliens are moved off to one side and you get a bonus card so if I had a pile of seven dead aliens or more then those aliens would be placed off to the side and I would be able to grab a bonus card but of course three aliens don't equal seven so I cannot grab a bonus card at all so okay that's the players turn off with we'll move these out the way and we come to the aliens counter attack now what you do is you look at the bottom card 
of each column. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. If there are three or more of the same alien at the bottom of a column, they're going to attack. Attack, attack, oh look at attack. And attack, attack, attack. If there are three aliens at the bottom of a of the columns, uh, like for instance there, there and there, like I said, and there, there and there, they will fire at you. If there is no shield, and I'll move this camera down a bit, there we go. If there is no shields to block the alien fire on any one of the three columns, it's game over. You are dead. Which, now looking at this game, <laughs> I've noticed that there's an alien there, there's an alien there, and there's an alien there, and there's no shields. My game is over. <laughs> and I've just noticed that. Maybe I should have uh, planned my attack a bit better. I'm actually going to cheat a bit here, <laughs> just so I can continue and you can see how the game is played. So I am going to go... like that. So, we're looking... Alien at the bottom, alien at the bottom, alien at the bottom. However, we do have shields above, so nothing happens with those aliens. The shield is not destroyed or anything like that. Um, alien, alien, alien. <coughs> We do have a shield here, so we're okay there. Is there any others? We have one there and one there. I think that's it. We are safe. So, like I said, if there's three aliens at the bottom of a row and there's no shield anywhere to protect you, it's game over. If there is a shield, then the alien fire does nothing. But there are certain aliens called heavy bombers. And the heavy bombers have a 12, a 13, and a 14 at the bottom. So after the aliens have tried to attack you with the three aliens at the bottom, the heavy bombers come into play. If a heavy bomber is above a shield, then that shield is destroyed. We do have a heavy bomber above a shield. This shield would be destroyed. We do have a heavy bomber above a shield. That shield would be destroyed. So you're left with one shield. However, again, I'm going to cheat. <laughs> and pretend those shields have not been destroyed. But yeah, if a 12, a 13 or a 14 is at the bottom of a column and it's above a shield, then that shield is destroyed. Okay, so we've had the alien attack. Um, and now it's time for the alien movement, because of course in Space Invaders, they keep moving. So, in order to determine movement, we're going to roll, uh, roll two D6s. That is a four and a three. Uh, and then you take one off each. So the four becomes a three, and the three becomes a two. So that would be five. So basically, whatever you roll, Whatever the, the result is, just take two, two off it. Okay, so we have five. What we need to do then is advance this movement tracker. So we go from zero for the green here, up to five. Then we count how many aliens are left on the board. If the movement tracker is more than the number of aliens on the board, then we take one off the countdown. Okay, so how a movement tracker is at five? Well, there's more than five aliens left on the board, so we will not move this countdown. Okay, so whatever number's here, we check is the more aliens on the board than is on the numbers here. If there isn't, then we take a countdown off and these are reset to zero. If there is, more aliens than movement numbers then we just leave everything as it is so okay the last step we do of this very complicated 
set of instructions is we add these numbers together, the four and the three. Uh, we don't take any numbers off this time. Uh, we see if it, is it odd or is it even for the total. Well, I think it's odd, four, five, six, seven. So the total is odd. And then the final thing we do is we're going to move our shields. Now at the top, it says even and odd. If it's even, all shields move one that way. If it's odd, all shields move one that way. Well, we had a total odd, and it was seven. So we move all the shields, one column, to the right. And that is a full turn in 8-bit invaders. <laughs> now, I know you sat there thinking, what the, what, what just happened there? He done this and done that and rolled this and turned that over and what? <laughs> um, it does seem a bit complicated with all these different steps but once you start getting into the flow of the game it starts becoming natural honestly it will just go boom 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 and you will get into the flow of it so i'm going to take a few more turns um, and just to show you how quickly the, uh, the game could go so of course the first thing we're going to do is do we want to discard a shield to get one of those bonus cards uh, not really, I want to try and keep all the shields I can. So the next thing we're going to do is roll our six-sided dice and see what we get. Okay. We have a couple of sixes, a couple of ones, a four and a two. So let's see what we can go for. Okay, so remember we can only go for the bottom of the columns. So this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, or this one. You cannot go, you cannot start on an alien that has a shield at the bottom. So we can't go for this one, first of all, or this one, or this one. Uh, we can go for this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we have a 14 we need to get. A 13, a 5 and a 6, and a 12. Uh, okay, so let's try with... I'm going to try with the 12. I have two 6s. Um, as well, when you're, when you're trying to destroy these aliens, always think of what's going to come up next. So if I'm going to destroy this alien and leave this one I've got to think is that going to be at the bottom with another two of the same without a shield because then I would be dead okay uh, so if I destroy that one this one it's going to leave me with this at the bottom there's no more of these ones at the bottom I should be okay so yes I'm going to destroy this one so now I can go for this one and I can go for this one if I wanted um, but I don't have uh, another three or a six to get that one. I do have a four to get that one. Um, Fourteen. Will I get fourteen with a four, two and two ones? <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, I won't get a thirteen either. Okay. What you can do is if you find that you haven't got the dice to place at any of the bottom columns, then you can, um, how can I put it, disregard of dice. You can use a dice. Doesn't matter what number it is, you can just place it on the card and then you can go for the next above it. Okay? So you're never stuck if you haven't rolled the right numbers for the aliens at the bottom. You can just spend a die, as it were. And just say, right, I want to spend this die to get to this one. You can always do that. But I'm going to put that back. And I am going to go for... I'm going to go for this four. Uh, because you can use one die to... Um, make up the number, if you've got it. So one die... To make up the four, I could use that. Um, I also have two. Am I up here? Yeah, two question marks. So I need a double. Well, I just so happen to have 
two ones. Uh, I don't think I can do anything else. I have a, a two left. Right, but before I destroy them, I want to be careful. I want to make sure that I'm not leaving three aliens of the same at the bottom of the columns where there is no shields. Okay, that should be fine. Brilliant. So now I am going to destroy the aliens. And these are going to go over into the alien discard pile or dead pile. So now I need to know do I have more alien, dead aliens there than the countdown? Um, no. I've only got six aliens there and the countdown is seven. I'll only need one more dead alien and then I can grab a bonus card. So now it's the aliens attack phase. The heavy bombers, the 12s and the 13s and the 14s, if they're above shields, which uh, you can just barely see here, if they were above a shield, that shield would be destroyed. Well, I have two heavy bombers here, there's no shields, so I'm fine there. Do we have three of the same type of alien at the bottom of a column, or various columns? I've got two here, we've got one, two, three there, but we are protected by the shield. Thankfully, <laughs> this time. <laughs> so the aliens do not hit us with any attack because thankfully we have a shield in the way so with the aliens attack over they come to their movement in which we roll 2d6 uh, and take away two from the results so four five six minus two is four so then four is added to the movement counters Then we check, is the movement counter higher than the amount of aliens on the board? Well, the movement counter is nine. I think there's more than nine aliens there. So we don't need to change the countdown. Next, we add those two numbers together that we rolled previously. Four and a two is six. Then we move the shields according to the results. Well, the results was even. So we're gonna move the shields this way by one, one. One, one. So as you can see, as you get used to the game, you'll get quicker and quicker and quicker. So I will take maybe another turn or two, just to show you. So here we go. Well, 66, we have two threes, two twos, a five and a one. We do have a two and three over here. Which we could go for. Can we get 14? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We can go for the heavy hitter over here. Um, right. We may lose a shield. Because we have a heavy bomber here. But unless we can... And I don't think we can get 14 and then 13. Oh dear. Um... We do not have a four, so we can't go for this bottom one here. We do have some doubles where we can go for... What am I pointing here? Down there. So I am going to go with a two. That was a, that was a one. And a, th and a three. That's a problem with these small die. You get knocked about all over the place. I'm also going to a five and a one to make six. I've got a three and a two. I don't think there's anything else I can do. I need a three six there. I need a three and four there. And I need a double for up there. There's nothing else I can do. So I am going to have to just leave it as it is. Let me just check for aliens at the bottom of the columns. I 
think I should be okay. So let's destroy these aliens. Another two aliens to go into the alien dead pile. Do we have more dead aliens than the countdown timer? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, yes. These are now discarded. And I can grab a bonus card. Discard after rolling an attack to re-roll any number of die. So I can re-roll my dice now, if I want to, by using this. Once you've used it, it's then discarded. Okay, so I'm going to just put that there to remind me. So I have attacked the aliens. It's time for the aliens to attack me. Are there three of the same alien types at the bottom of the row? Well, we have two here. Um, we have one there, we have two here, and one out of shot, which is the same as this one. However, we do have a shield blocking, so the aliens do not attack us. So then we move on to alien movement, where we roll two die. And take two off, so that's ten, so we have eight. So now that becomes 17 in our movement tracker, and we do that by moving the orange to 10. And the green to 17. Is there more aliens than the number on the movement tracker? Well, 5, 10, 15, 20, yes, there's more than 17. So we do not move the countdown. Last thing we do is to check if the results of those previous die rolls were odd or even. Of course it's even. And then we move our shields. So even is that way, so move that one. Move that one, I'll just shift that. And then move that one. And then that's it, you just go around again. You roll your six sided die, you place your die where you think the alien should be destroyed. You destroy the aliens, put them in the dead alien pile. Is the dead alien pile more than the countdown? If it is, you put the dead alien off to the discard pile and grab yourself a bonus card. If it isn't, you just leave the dead aliens where they are. The aliens then attack you. Is there three of the same type of alien at the bottom of three columns? And is there no shields protecting you in those columns? If there's no shields, okay, so for example, if this for some reason had been destroyed, there is one of these aliens up here out of shot. So it would have been one, two, three, like I said earlier, no shields, it's game over. If there's a shield, you're fine. They don't do anything. Then you look at the heavy bombers. And I didn't take the shield off, did I, for the heavy bomber? I just realised that. But anything that says 12, 13 or 14 are heavy bombers. If there is a shield underneath, shield goes. You then roll 2d6 for the alien's movement uh, and take two off it. And then you add that to the movement tracker. Then you check, is there less aliens on the board than the number on the movement tracker. If there was, say for example, there was 28 on the movement tracker, but there was only 15 aliens, what would happen then would be that the movement tracker is reset and you remove one from the countdown. And if the countdown ever reaches zero, it's game over. Okay, so the final thing you do is from the previous roll of the two die, you check whether the results are odd or even, then you will move your shields. If, for whatever reason, say this was like the end column, and you rolled odd, which is that way, you cannot move off the column. So you cannot move off the end of a column. 
So you can't go like this into nothing. It has to stay there. And all the shields move as one. So you can't keep that one there and then say, right, I'll move that one. No. You have to move them as like one entity. So if one can't move, for example, this one can't move that way, then none of the shields move. And that is 8-bit invaders. Uh, I've tried to explain it the best I could. It has lots of different things going on in it. But as you play the game, you start to pick them up quicker and quicker. And you know it, it will come second nature to you as you're going through the different things. So yeah, that's 8-bit invaders by William Ritert. Um, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for another video in the print and play series as well as more videos of boxed and card games. So until then, I'll catch you guys later.